guys, welcome back to The Coily Code. Today, I washed my hair. I was so grateful because my scalp was panicking, but I will be installing some flat twists. When you're wearing wigs, it's a better look to have your hair flattened. My hair, for some reason, stopped loving cornrows. So I'm going to be attempting for the first time to do flat twists. They may not come out really great, but oh well. But I wanted to do the It's My Hair tag, and I printed out the questions ahead of time, but I did not take a peek at them. It was just like copy paste without looking at it, you know what I mean? And then printing it. So that way you can get some really raw and filtered answers from me. My hair is freshly wet. It's dripping a bit. All right, and I will be securing. By the way, I already have, I applied my leave-in conditioner in the shower, so. I also will be trying the Mish Balance Curl Defining Cream, which if you remember, this does not work for a wash and go. And then I'll be sealing it off with the brown buttermilk from Camille Rose, one of my favorite butters of all time. I'm also gonna need to be reordering the Mish <sighs> Lavish, I think it was called the Lavish Deep Conditioner, whatever, Intense Lavish Deep Conditioner. I need it, okay? It was the best deep conditioner ever. And the conditioner I use today, <laughs> did not perform. So my hair feels a lot drier. It was a lot harder to detangle. And here's the curl bounce, bounce curl defining cream. Again, you do not want to use this for a wash and go. Hit my natural hair journey back in 2009. I started it because I think when you're younger and you see a movement that influences or has something to do, whether it's remotely or close to home. But when when you saw this movement of black women all around the world um, embarking on a journey of knowing our hair and growing it long, that was why I started it. Cause I think as a kid uh, or as a young girl, cause I was in my teens when I started, but yeah, you're, you're highly influenced by culture and you're influenced by movement very easily. It's like nowadays as an adult, it's I'm not as easily swayed. <laughs> But I know that that was like the beginning of, oh, I want my hair to grow long too. That was kind of my mentality. That's why I decided to embark on my natural hair journey. Not the most noble reason, but <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I did. I've been on it for about 13 years. Definitely a long time. You could even argue that most of us ladies who embarked on a natural hair journey started from our mother's wounds. You know what I mean? Like just. The journey began when we were conscious enough to know that hair was a big deal in terms of beauty and confidence and so on. So it's been a long, long adventure. But in terms of when I actually made conscious decisions to revolutionize my hair care practices, that was about 13, 11 or 13 years ago. All right, there's the first one. Obviously, I am natural, <laughs> but I have relaxed my hair before. I have gone through the transitioning period. I could not stick to that transitioning period. I don't even know how women do it. Dealing with two textures is just too much. And I couldn't go more than, I think, a couple weeks and I just chopped everything off. So <laughs> my hair length is about my clavicle comfortably. Like I don't have to tilt my head over or do too much to make it reach there. Um, obviously like my nape is a lot uh, shorter than my hair, but yeah, it's about my clavicle. My goal length for this year is about my shoulders, maybe like about here. So stretching here, it comes about here. Shoulder, not the top, but my ultimate length is about waist length. So my hair texture, no, I don't like the hair typing chart, but it's a 4C and 4B. So that's what I mainly have in my hair. It's very kinky. So not the silky, shiny texture. It's very fine, very fine strands. If I had to choose one or the other, oh, this is rather exposing because in my heart, I wanna say length because length means a lot to me because I've never had long hair and I really want long hair. But at the same time, I will say I have been enjoying, I enjoyed so much my wash and go routine. Granted, I had shrinkage for sure. I did enjoy how much moisture my hair could retain over long periods of time. I loved the curl definition, the coil definition, the coil pattern, and just how bouncy and elastic my hair is. And I find that that to me trumps length over any day. That Mish deep condition, Indulge, that's what it's called, the Indulge deep conditioner. 
that was life. <laughs> I can totally tell the difference now between how good that deep conditioner is versus all the other deep conditioners I've ever tried in my hair routine. That's the one product that I would choose to live with the rest of if I had to. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a product that I returned. Oh yes, the As I Am co-wash, the classic one. It was no good. It actually made my hair very filmy. It was not clean. And I know co-washes aren't supposed to be cleansing, but this one everybody was saying was very cleansing. And so I tried it and unfortunately it did not work for me. I have to shampoo my hair, especially now with using butters and stuff like that on my hair. I think what makes a product really bad too, psychologically is when you pay so much money for it to perform lacklusterly. That's what to me, it's almost a mental effect as well. So my go-to hairstyle is a wash and go. <laughs> Mainly because it's easy to do. <laughs> okay, doing these protect this protective style challenge really makes me think about how easy a wash and go is. Like, look at this. I'm like, I've got to style my hair and do all kinds of things to make it, you know, whatever. But I would say I used to be a product junkie and that was because I never took the time to experiment for myself with what works. On my hair, I would just go with the buzz of what's trending. Ooh, this is a good question. Now, prior to this year, I was trimming my hair whenever I felt like it. My schedule for this year was every three months. I did this big trim in December, and by the time March rolled around, I looked at my ends and I'm like, actually, I don't need to trim my hair. And I was trimming so much last year, which is why I didn't see a lot of growth. Once a year will be the frequency I'm on. I don't really need to trim my hair. The fact that I can finger to tangle with such a tight curl pattern with having fine hair and low density, I don't need to trim my hair. I don't use heat anymore. Last year I was blow drying my hair every two weeks, which is just crazy to me. Now, I don't even know when's the, no, no, the last time I did was in January. If I have to straighten my hair or if I wanted to, I would. I just prefer my hair in its natural state now. So if I want to do straight hair, I would probably choose a wig over actually straightening my own hair. <sighs> I was on a multivitamin for a while, but I'm not a creature of, well, actually I am a creature of habit in the sense that I have a habit of not <laughs> keeping up with my supplements. So, I did try the Curls Blueberry Vitamin, Hair Growth Vitamin, it's a liquid one, some years ago, but I never took it consistently. I remember the, I forgot the, the name of that brand, Hair Vitamin on YouTube at one point. I tried that, that it, Hair Affinity, that's what it was. So I tried that, but like I said, never was consistent enough. I know a lot of women swore by it. I never, like I said, wasn't consistent enough to take uh, to take, you know, taking vitamins of any kind, even just a regular daily multivitamin. So favorite oil hands down is sweet almond oil. My hair loves sweet almond oil. The one that I loved the most was the Myel Organics. It's an almond and mint oil. Oh, girl. In fact, I may need to order some of that too. My hair loves that oil so, so much. I don't put it on my scalp, but definitely on my hair strands and the ends. It is my favorite, hands down. My favorite hair crush. I love if she so pleases. Not only is her hair beautiful, but she's beautiful. I also love, now this one, she doesn't post hair videos as much anymore, but Daphne Avia. She's my go-to for Christian content, love her. I've been following her since the beginning, but she used to do a lot of hair videos and she's also my hair crush. Kimmy Tube, she's like an OG. Everybody knows about her, but she was definitely my hair crush. Unfortunately, she's not making any more videos, um, but I had tried her Love Naturals brand before and I also was a part of her community she had developed and unfortunately she took that down as well and the only sad part about that is i had a hair journal on there because she her app had these capabilities i wasn't able to download my hair journals because she just took it down so i think she has such a huge impact on the natural hair community people don't give her the props i think she deserves but you know that's kind of the the way of life sometimes so it used to take me hours on wash day i had these other steps like pre-poo hot oil treatment detangling my hair before i got in the shower and that proved to be a 
exercise in futility because as soon as I detangled my hair, it would retangle itself when I got in the shower. So it's like, well, what's the point of doing all that work if it's not translating when I get into the shower? So usually I just wait until I get to the shower to actually do my actual detangling. And then afterwards, I would style my hair just like I'm doing today. I'm styling it right after washing it. And that also would take long depending on what style I was putting in. The worst was the first time I ever tried to wash and go, and this was years ago, and I did not have a proper technique at all. And I remember after rocking my hair in that wash and go, detangling it was a nightmare. And I suffered from so much breakage. I regretted it and I said in that video I would never ever do wash and goes again. Um, no, I've never dyed my natural hair before, like ever. If I did, I would go for red, ginger, or a light brown, even a golden blonde color because I sported wigs, those colors, and I just found that they complimented me so much and they're so fun. They're really, really fun to do. I'll, I tag everybody. So I'm gonna put the questions in the description box. And if you want to comment your answers, or you can even comment as you're watching, that would be great. So yeah, it seems like it's working fine for my hair. Um, my parting is probably, yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will say I'm not 100% happy with the way my hair felt today. I had a lot of shed hairs. That's almost making me reconsider if it's worth going two weeks before washing my hair or in between those two weeks, like maybe at the end of each week, I can take my my twist out and detangle very lightly and re-moisturize and twist back up. I probably will adjust my frequency for when I re-moisturize my hair to every four days, just like my wash and go regimen, I would wash my hair every four days. And that way I can get some of those shed hairs out before it accumulates too much and then it becomes a problem <laughs> if i took my hair down every four days to remove shed hairs and re-moisturize it just like i would in a wash and go routine that'll keep the tangles and the shed hairs from getting out of control so i will try that this upcoming interval of the productive style challenge for the next two weeks and i'll report to you what those findings are all right we are done wrapping it up here great <laughs> my scalp looks so amazing if you've been struggling with itchy scalp try adding some drops of tea tree oil essential oil into your shampoo you'll thank me later <laughs> all right you guys have a wonderful lovely rest of your day and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye